and a halting, heartfelt appeal for gun control from the Congresswoman, still fighting back from the shooting that nearly ended her life. Violence is a big problem. Too many children are dying. Too many children. The U.S. Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford, shot in the head in a mass shooting two years ago, has returned to Washington to appear before a congressional committee looking at gun laws. It is just a month since 26 people were shot at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. It could only be an emotional occasion. Our Washington correspondent Steve Kingston watched her testimony. Another day, another mass shooting. This one in Phoenix, Arizona. Three were injured, one critically. As they were being taken to hospital, the politicians were hearing evidence about plans for new gun controls. And President Obama has a powerful new ally, a politician, a survivor. How are you, Congresswoman? Alive, but her awkward steps show not fully recovered from the bullet that passed through her brain. Her husband, leading the way, said the former Congresswoman's gift for speech is a distant memory but her power to move an audience has not disappeared. Speaking is difficult, but I need to say something important. Violence is a big problem. Too many children are dying. Too many children. We must do something. Gabby Gifford's life changed forever in this Arizona car park. Shot at point-blank range by a mentally ill young man, armed with a semi-automatic pistol with a 33-round magazine. He killed six people and injured 13 more. The pressure for a ban on such weapons is growing. It will be hard, but the time is now. You must act. Be bold, be courageous. Americans are counting on you. Thank you. This debate is moving. This march last weekend, part of it. Not long ago, gun control was seen as politically impossible. But after the massacre of 20 children in Newtown just before Christmas, the president moved it to the top of his agenda. But opponents say the plan to ban assault rifles is illogical, based on myths and lies. They make bigger holes, they're rapid fire, fire, they spray bullets, they're more powerful, they're heavy armor. All of that is simply not true. The gun lobby is immensely powerful, so President Obama's strategy is to mobilize public opinion and raise the emotional temperature. Gabby Gifford's testimony today certainly helped with that. Mark Modell, BBC News, Washington.